So, hey guys, um, what I'm about to do here is uh, do a lot of stuff around the yard for the chicken coop, the garden, um, and Ariana's memorial. Um, I got different stages of what I'm doing since the rain um, has been uh, going on forever. It is uh, April the 2nd today. When, um, I'm about to lay the fabric and then probably plant the seeds uh, probably in the next few days. Um, but I want to let you know what, I, what all I have here. Um, right here, this is uh, a material they use for shade. Um, you can also use it for, uh, oh, just saw one, an eagle, an owl, a hawk, um, vulture. Uh, turkey vulture, whatever you call uh, the predators that uh, want my chickens. Uh, sometimes they want my chickens more than I do, so they come over here and pluck at them um, like grapes at Walmart. Uh, and uh, so this right here, um, the DeWitt Company in Sykeston, Missouri actually uh, let me get this right here to try it out. Uh, they are about to, they're, they're doing pretty good because they're about to expand to 50,000 square feet extra plus 13 loading docks. So that shows to me that they're doing some pretty good business if they're doing um, expansion like that. That's what she said. But uh, right here, this uh, shade material I'm going to be using for the, the uh, anti-pluckers. Uh, here is uh, a whole box of these grommets that you close into here. Let me show you. You close in like so, um, and then you take your bungee cords or whatever kind of attachments you have that you want to attach them to the trees or poles or anything. Just put it in like so, and there you go. So you won't rip the fabric and it stays in the grommet. So that is freaking amazing. I really, uh, I'm glad they, they let me know about that because that will come in handy and save the material from uh, stretching when you just put it on there like that. It's not gonna be good. It won't last that long. Even though it's real durable, um, it's not gonna um, last as long like that. So I got a whole box of those for this fabric and they actually sewed this together for me. Uh, so I wanna thank Billy, um, next door neighbor to my mom. Um, he actually works for DeWitt Company and he's the one that saw, he's a disposal team member. Him and his wife Kelly saw my video about Ariana passing and they wanted to help me out uh, to make my life a little simpler around the house and to do something for Aries Memorial. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but so I really do appreciate them for that. I met the owner, Larry. Larry, awesome guy. I'm not just saying that because uh, he let me get this to try. Um, we talked for about another hour, hour and a half uh, when I went to pick this up. Really great guy. So we're gonna be doing more stuff in the future. Uh, so we're gonna do solar socks and stuff that I can do like a month, month and a half early planting to get uh, the, the, the crops going up even earlier and I can transplant them or or sell them on the honor system out here if I grow a lot of tomatoes. Um, this is the fencing I was going to put around the garden so the garden don't run away from me and, and, and just jump to the next yard. No, I'm just kidding. I was going to block the uh, chickens in, um, like give it like a 100 foot space around the chicken coop. But what I'm going to do now is block the garden in and the chickens can go all around the yard because i'm going to use this as fencing too because uh, you can use it for uh, uh different critters to get in your yard because it's not big enough for like birds to 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 get stuck in um so they do make bigger ones but uh if you do make bigger ones the chickens might get stuck in it too but this is this is really freaking durable man um so i'm going to put this up here so the, the chickens can r run free all around the yard um, eat all the little caterpillars that that, that eat up um, some of the plants and get all the bugs and spiders and mosquitoes away from the house so that will come in handy and I'll probably put some more up to the deer fencing probably cut this in half and roll it around the top of the bob wire too so that'll help out uh, keeping the deer at bay because they can jump through like the bob wires like this they can jump through the middle so uh, that's going to be used for that uh, this right here is the flower material uh, for the flower um, like uh, you could use this for the garden, but I think this is best to, to block most of the, the air. Uh, you want to use this for the air to go through, but this right here, you can put plant soil on top of it um, so the weeds don't come up uh, under it. Uh, they do have a black. If you're doing like rocks, if you're doing this for fabric, um, uh, if you're not even doing the um, flowers, uh, you can just use it for fabric to go down for rocks. 
it helps for the rocks that don't sink to the ground and if you're doing like brown rocks you put the brown side out and then um, if it does the rocks don't cover it all the way you won't tell as much because it's a brown fabric or black fabric if you're using black rocks or anything dark um, here is the the material I'm going to be using for the garden it's really really good um, they gave me you can cut it but so to, to lessen the fray of it over time um, because this does last a long time to loosen it forever you got a, a, a gun that you can plug up a heat gun and it melts it so it melts it so what I want to do um, is put this the this on the ground and then I'm going to the middle of my row I'm going to melt it right in the middle a line so I can go ahead and plant seeds and then you want to cover the line up a little bit with these staples they gave me these staples they go right down into the ground and every so often on the line that I cut after I plant then I want to go ahead and staple it to keep it down a little bit until I see the you know the plants coming through uh, where I did melt it's when they coming through to get some sunlight uh, it makes it easy to run rows too because they got the lines say one two three four five six I think about eight about seven to eight lines on each one of these and you can just run it right down the line and you know you got a straight row uh, they gave me a whole box of these so I got plenty of these to use so thank you very much um, but here is the DeWitt company it's Sykes to Missouri if you ever want to check them out really great people tell them that you saw this video uh, if, you, if you even uh, buy there they'll ship they'll ship this stuff out you can go to their eBay and I'll try to put their eBay link in the descriptions of this video as well um, his daughter handles the eBay side so so Larry DeWitt his daughter will uh, will uh, contact you on uh, any needs like that on, on eBay so that said let me get tasha she's be back in a second i'm gonna get all this stuff uh just this the staples the and i'll probably wait on the heat guns i don't need to run the the, the row yet uh, i want it to dry a little bit so i'm gonna use the, the heat to hit this to, to to heat up the ground a little bit to 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 get it a little more dry so i'm gonna get the, that ready to go and uh then i'll be done so uh i'll see you in a bit tasha actually just pulled up on the queue and uh, let's get her to get it a working. I'm going to go ahead and roll this downhill and let this do the work for me. Um, but I am going to line up one of these lines um, with the row. So I know that's where I want to plan at. And I'll just cut down that with the hot, the hot uh, gun, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I'm only going to go out about a foot that direction. So uh, I want to keep some grass right there and I can cut it. So I want some traction there. So if I do have to drive my truck through the yard, that patch right there is big enough for my truck and that trailer to come through here and go to the chicken coop just in case I need to uh, bring some stuff to build the, the chicken coop with the pallets and everything. So I did keep that open like that on purpose. And I'm going to go ahead and you know cut that with the lawnmower, just that part there um, against the fence. I'm going to have cucumbers on this side and hot peppers on the other side. So I'll cut one of these down the middle and probably just go ahead and lay lay it out on each side there so uh let me um let me go ahead and roll this out and i will uh get back with you okay Just hooked up the heat gun. Um, what we're going to do is cut this, like I said, without it, it's, it'll fray over time. And this lasts a long time. So you might as well uh, burn it so the edges are uh, melted. Uh, like when you do, uh, I guess you do shoelaces and stuff like that, um, then it won't fray on you. So here we go. Get down here. And then um, you can see what it's doing. So that's that's better than fraying. It's the, the edges are crisp. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the same thing all the way down that line when I'm doing the um, uh, when I'm doing the the, the seeds. Uh, right now I'm not, I'm not planting the seeds, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, put the staples in it, and I'll show you that here in a second. Okay.
Okay guys, I got a phone call when I'm trying to work as usual. Um, I am um, going to put these pins in. I got a whole box of pins as you saw earlier. And all you do here, it's good not to have a lot of rocks around, but just do that and push it down. You're gonna get tired after a while doing that. Um, so they do make a gun. If you do a lot of it, you can stand up and push it down, but it's a little more expensive that I'm not gonna be doing that. But every so often, we'll just put it down like that. Um, and my row is right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm gonna use these again. I'm just gonna keep it like that so I know where the row's at every now and then. So when I'm cutting it, when I'm cutting it with the, uh, the tool there, the heat gun, then I'll know where, where I cut the line at. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and lap these. Um, you can lap them as much as you want, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a whole foot of a lap. I'm gonna do like a six inches. So you don't want to put the, you don't want to put the pins in. Like I'll put one right here since I know there's no row right here to keep that down. But then over here, I won't put one here because I'm wasting it because I'm putting one here anyway. So I'll wait till this goes out like that. And it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get these down so you can stand up and try to push with your foot. But there you go, that's all you do. So those are together, those are together. So just keep on going down the road with it. I'll keep on doing that and uh, then get this uh, squared away. But I do got some other stuff I have to get to. So I'm probably gonna get back to this tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna roll the rest of this roll out and um, then show you the rest of it, okay? I had to go go inside and get that that GoPro. Uh, the uh, I've been working so hard out here, guys. I I don't know how long I've been out here, but I've been doing some good work. I'll show you real quick what uh what I've been doing. Uh, we did get get this fabric out here. Well, I did. I've been Taj is in there goofing off, but I I got this third one down there. I'm about to put some more down here and uh, get those two little rows there. I cut one in half and put put uh, one on each side of this fence and then I'll give you the uh, the load down on the rest of it because I got to burn up all these calories okay because I just met uh, Billy and Kelly it's the next door to my mom's from the DeWitt company yes and uh, we ate at the R&O takeout if you are in Sykes Missouri um, Missouri whatever you want to call it if you if you say anybody has the best burgers other than R and O takeout in Sykeson, you're freaking lying. So uh, try them out if you're in the area. If you're 30 miles away, go there for lunch. Go there. You will not be disappointed. I had the Polish Chicago style sausage, the chicken snack basket, the super boss burger and some other stuff so i'll talk to you when i'm inside i got work to do guys this is not easy work go post stop recording hey guess what each roll comes with a freaking garden trombone <coughs> that's a mating call <coughs> okay each one has a free freaking garden trombone. All right. We got the garden, the two 
the two smaller rows are here and we have the four, five long rows we're about to do this one tomorrow on this side of the fence and that side of the fence but we have all the fabric down so i want you to thank the dewitt company for uh, allowing me to get this fabric to do this and we will see how it works out uh, i have more time to edit videos and um, i don't have to worry about the weeds so uh, we're going to get those two rows like i said tomorrow and uh, we're going to go inside now but uh, i will take a short break here and you'll hear the voiceover of all the specs on this uh, fabric here this product here is called Sunbelt. It's the best they have to offer, so I'm highly honored they allowed me to try this, and I'll let you know in the weeks to come how it works. Um, but they say this uh, ground cover consists of polypropylene. It resists tearing, puncturing, and weed penetration. It is approved for most government weed control applications. Sunbelt is ideal for greenhouse, outdoor displays, and a weed barrier for planting without topical coverings, where a weed-free environment is a must. Uh, DeWitt Sunbelt is striped every 12 inches to aid in plant alignment and it is UV stabilized to last even in direct sunlight. And what DeWitt is saying, do not cover this with mulch or anything on top of it like leaves or dirt because uh, it is going to grow weeds on top of the barrier. So you don't have to put anything. This is formulated for you not have to put anything down on top of this. So that is really good. Tasha doesn't know how to cook, so she has to print stuff up on my computer while I'm in here editing about how to cook. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, this is squash puppies, I believe, and she never had squash puppies. She didn't believe that there was even a thing. I said, no, I, I got to do that a lot because I joke too much. So I said, no, it, it's real. It is a thing. I used to make squash puppies. I'm serious. So if you didn't know what squash puppies was, just grate it up squash like hush puppies. People that don't like squash actually like it because it tastes really good. So if you if you kind of don't like squash, try it out. You might like it. Look, she in here trying to cook. We got some bluegill, aka bream, bream. How you say it? Bream, because it's spelled B-R-E-A-M. That's Tennessee. It said bream. We're gonna cook some um, squash puppies. And you thought I was joking, didn't you? What? Squash puppies. You thought those wasn't real. No. <laughs> so we're gonna she gonna cook and I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna do my part, she do her part. She might eat too. But we'll get a little uh we'll get an interview with her later. Cause she did help me out there. I was hard at work. She did help me out there a little bit doing some uh garden stuff, okay? So she deserves it. She's supervising. Okay, well we'll talk about it when we eat. GoPro stop recording. Oh, there you go, pro. It's the phone. Okay, we're about to eat, guys. I'm going to show you the uh, food real quick. Okay, and you want to see the inside of the squash puppies. I'm just going to hot sauce now. I'm not messing with tartar sauce, but I might make my tartar sauce. Um, I use Miracle Whip. Shut up already, people. Yep, I already know you're whining about it. You can use mayo, okay, if you want to degrade the the tartar and use mayo you can but i use america whip uh worcestershire sauce and um some chopped sweet pickle relish so that's that's all it is okay you can get fancy with it and put more in it but that's all you need to do okay You're eating a little and i like these these are like chips fish and chips but these are actually not the but i like the uh fins mm-hmm Crispy. We went to um, R and O earlier, and I did talk to you outside about that. Went to R and O uh, takeout in Sykeson. Really good food. That's the first time you had it. 
Yeah, that was my first time going. Because I went to that challenge. The last time I ate there with you, well, ate in Sison with you, we went to that chicken place, I think. Chicken. Remember the chicken Lambert's? was good, but the... Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, they used to stick to chicken. Huh? Stick to chicken, because the yeah. other stuff was yeah, nasty. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. The right. Jay's chicken. That was called Jay's chicken. <laughs> they got some good chicken. Good chicken, but chicken, that's all. <laughs> so, but I want to thank um, Billy and kelly for going with us today um so i really appreciate them accompanying us and she uh, and thanks kelly again for the plants she yes maybe my first plants for the house first plants for the house yep and uh they have a lot of plants outside but these are going to be some that's inside or maybe on the patio or yeah, something i'm gonna put them around the the windows since okay. a lot of sun coming in over there i just gotta buy pots for them to each one of them to go in but she gave me like some spider plants and some Fuzzy something. I can't remember the name of it. Navel? That's a, oh. <laughs> that's a peach. I forgot what those was called. I forgot. I, I know she's saying it right now while she's yeah. watching on the big freaking <laughs> 1,000 inch screen uh, they have downstairs. My memory's not good. Um, but uh, the, cheese, the cheese fries were good. They put jalapenos in there, but not too much because I'm kind of burnt out on jalapenos because of that contest in Laredo. But it was spicy cheese that was really good that was on the fries. Um, I had the Super Boss Burger, which was freaking delicious. Best burgers in Sykeson that I had so far, okay? I'm just saying, they have some freaking amazing uh, burgers. And the chicken was good, too, that I had. Um, and we did talk about, people was talking about the, the chickens. We should get some guineas to... Um, Not after you told me how yeah. loud they are. Well, 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 hold on. Alexa, what sounds do guineas make? Here's a guinea pig squeak. Not guinea pig. <laughs> That's not it. You guys say a guinea bird or something? Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Alexa, what sound does a guinea bird make? She didn't want to answer you. Don't even know. Alexa. That's a guinea bird? That's a bird sound. Alexa, shut up. I don't know why you being mean to Alexa. You the one brought her here. Well, I'm trying to get the guinea. It's a, I don't know what else to call it. It's a guinea. I don't know. Well, they, they maybe we ain't saying. Maybe that's just what I don't know. Maybe that's not the technical name yeah. for it. Gennarda Barda. Gennarda <laughs> <laughs> Galopas in the cop. Well, um, I, I heard uh, some people that run on the other side of the law has them to for for uh, alarm systems. They better than dogs. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Something like that. I don't I know. See you, see you coming from. <laughs> yeah, a long ways. Yeah, like what is that? <laughs> so, but I'm not thinking we're gonna get any guineas. I don't think we need. I got a gun. It will help. <laughs> Spotlights out there. I want to taste this. I've never had squash puppies. This is my first time making squash puppies. Didn't even think they were a real thing because I don't. She don't believe nothing. They are good. And you won't really tell they're squash, really. Like I told you, like, people that don't like squash will eat this. That is good. Not just because you made it. Oh, yeah. Even if I make some and if it's nasty, I'm going to say it's nasty. These are good. I'm glad I made as many as I did. Really, though. I, I never had them this stuff. freaking huge. You make them this huge all the time? I've never made them, so how would I make them like that? I, I mean, hush puppies. You make hush puppies this? I've never made hush puppies either. Oh, okay. Well, you did a great job. First time, huh? Mm-hmm. Beginner's luck? Yeah. It was really, really good, guys. She needs to sell these. For real. Yeah, those are good. They're crispy. They're moist on the inside. I don't know that. I got to take the others out, the last batch. The last batch are a little brown. Sitting there on the camera, they yeah, they got really brown. I'm gonna eat those, so I'm gonna give her these, it's a, and I'll like, take the darker ones. Like They've that. been in the sun a little longer. All of them not like that. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna show. Have you finished the Dr. Pepper video? 
I was just editing that vlog actually, 285, that I was talking about you doing it. You're, you're getting there? I'm gonna, I was gonna start on some more today. You've been having me busy. I ain't today or tomorrow, she's blaming me. I ain't had time to edit, I've been helping you. Well, tomorrow she can do that then. We did watch, uh, uh. Why you give me all of them? It's some more. Godzilla versus Kong. Is that what it does? That was a good movie. That was a really good movie. I think you had an 8.7 out of 10, like on the, on the, the, the video. I'm going to give it an 8, 7, 8, 7 out of a 10. 8.7. That was a pretty good movie. Well, the one we watched when, when, when Bob was here. That was an excellent movie with uh, Van Diesel, Vin Diesel, whatever mm -hmm. you call him. Vin Diesel. Yeah, that was it. Vin Unleaded, Van Unleaded. That was actually a good movie, and he was like, it was not much. He didn't like. He was like a real critic. Like he was really <laughs> rough on Van Diesel. Bob was like Cisco and Yeah, I thought he was gonna say that's an amazing movie. He was like, it's okay. <laughs> it didn't move Bob. Okay. It moved me. I was going to give it a 10 almost. Bob's like a 5 or something. I don't even know if everybody did. I forgot the name of something. I don't even remember What's what it called? Red Eye? What? I think that's what it was. I'm not good at remembering. Yeah, she don't remember nothing. Unless I do something. And she remembers it. No. Okay. Was there anything else you want to add? No. Can't wait for a Dr. Pepper video, but that's Hey Ashi, if I didn't say it this video, because she doesn't say it. Hey, mama, hey, I got a YouTube channel. My name's Hey Ashi, all one word, H-E-Y-O-S-H-I. -E that's how I sound. Like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, but with that said, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm going to do a video speaking of, I'm going to do one on these. You should. I, that's why I brought my phone in here. I started to, but I was like, I'm going to try it first. Oh, so but now, I had too much going on. But you got to edit it. You got to edit. You got to. Well, business. <laughs> but no, it was going to take me. I didn't want to do it because it was going to take me too long to, to cook and be trying to yeah. mess with a camera. Okay. Well. Well, um, we'll get we'll get that. That's squash puppet. I think people want to see that recipe. Because these things are good. Mm -hmm. Dab. Okay. Well, look out for her channel. It's in my descriptions. All the way at the very bottom. Always at the very bottom there. So it's always there. Easy to see. Just scroll down. Bam. Right there. So subscribe to her channel if you want to see those videos that's popping up. And uh, until next time, uh, talk to you later. Bye. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.